Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can write the API tests. Like, if there is an API and you want to test that, then how you can do it in Node.js. So for that, you can create a project directory and then, well, for example, I've created one here, do it dash API dash testing, and then in that directory, what you need to do is you need to execute uh, one command called as npm init. So what that command does is that it will uh, initialize this package.json file with all the project details. So this is the command that you need to execute npm init. Once that command is executed, this package.json will be created. And then uh, here you can give the project description and all the details. And after that you can put the dependencies. Now what all dependencies we are going to need to test the API is that chai, chai, http, then json path and mocha. So all these dependencies are required. So just uh, write this command npm install and then give this chai then chai http and so on and so forth and then those uh, packages will be installed in your current directory. You will find that node underscore models directory is there in that directory those packages are installed. Once that is done all you have to do is uh, just create one javascript file so i have already created one here and then uh, next thing that you need to do is you need to import chai and then expect assert then from json path you need to import some stuff and then there is a chai http you need to require that as, as well because if you want to work with uh, http requests and responses you will need this chai http and then uh, you need to use this describe it these functions so basically these functions are coming from mocha framework so if you are aware about the mocha framework then this will be very easy for you to understand so basically describe is like a feature and then in that there can be multiple tests so each test is called as uh, uh, is denoted by this function called as it that is individual test and there is you can give the test name and then you can write async function now async function is required because all the http requests are going to be asynchronous and if you want to process some data that is coming from that uh, request then you will need to await and then after that you can process that data so basically that is how you can write the request try dot request this is the method that you need to call then the url that you need to hit after that you need to give the method so http has got different methods like post gate etc so you need to give that method here right now i'm gonna send the post request to this endpoint now this is the main server or the host name you can call it and then it can have multiple endpoints so here i'm gonna hit this slash users after that if uh, you want to send some json body then you can use the send method and then there you can give the json object like that after that if you want to set the headers you can use the set method and these are the different types of headers you can set there are lots of other headers, HTTP headers, so you can set all of them. Most of the times you will need this content type and then accept and then authorization if you need to authorize before. Uh, you will need to present the bearer token if you want to access some uh, protected resources. So that is how you can set the request and then after the request is complete, uh, the response will come in here. And once uh, you have got the response, you can check the status using this expect a solution uh, function and the response should be 200 or whatever response you are expecting you can give that number and if you want to process some uh, data from the response like json data then you can use the response dot body method or the property and then it will give you the object that uh, response object so earlier i showed you post request here you can see there is a gate request And once the data is there you know, from the response body, you can get the object, and then you can access the actual uh, data that is there, that is JSON object, and square brackets zero. That is the first uh, element in that array if the data is in the array format. And then, uh, if you want to access the properties, you can use the dot uh, dot notation, then uh, the property names. Okay. Now I'm gonna uh, execute this test. So uh, to execute this test, what you need to do is you need to use this command called as npx mocha and then give the 
file that you want to execute chai dash http dash js so execute this test from this file just hit enter and then you should have some data here so that's the first test that is the second test and that's how it works so one of the tests has failed but the rest of the four were passing so that's how you can execute this test as well npx mocha so if you want to uh, learn more about mocha there are different tutorials you can refer basically we are telling that run the rest from this particular file and there are a lot of other flags that mocha can take which you can learn later on thanks for watching this video